Once, there was a brave girl named Lucy. She lived in a small village next to a big, mysterious forest. The villagers thought strange creatures lived deep in the woods, so they stayed away. But Lucy was different. She loved adventure and was curious about what was beyond the village. She always wondered if the creatures were really as scary as people said. One quiet afternoon, Lucy heard a strange, sad sound coming from the forest. Most villagers would lock their doors if they heard such a sound, but not Lucy. She packed her small red backpack with some bread, water, and a flashlight. She knew she had to help. She couldn't just ignore someone crying out for help. Lucy went straight into the forest. Her heart was pounding, but she kept moving forward. The deeper she went, the taller the trees grew, and the sunlight began to fade. The air felt different, almost magical, making her feel both scared and excited. The crying sound got louder as Lucy went deeper into the unknown. The forest seemed darker, but Lucy did not turn back. Finally, she found a small creature stuck between two big rocks. It had large, sad eyes, soft fur that shimmered, and tiny wings. It looked like a mix between a squirrel and a kitten. Lucy carefully moved the rocks away. She could see fear in the creature's eyes, so she spoke softly to calm it down. Lucy knew this was no ordinary creature. Don't worry, I've got you, Lucy said gently. Once the creature was free, it looked at Lucy gratefully and said, Thank you, brave girl. I am Nico, the guardian of the forest. You saved me from a terrible fate. Lucy was shocked. An animal that could talk. This was proof of the magic she had always believed in. Her heart raced with excitement. Lucy gasped. She had always believed in magic, but she never thought she would hear an animal talk. Nico told her that he had been trapped by dark magic and couldn't escape. To thank her, Nico invited Lucy to explore the magical forest. He promised to show her wonders that no human had seen in a long time. Lucy's eyes widened with curiosity, and she quickly agreed. Lucy followed Nico excitedly. They walked through parts of the forest that felt like a dream. They saw glowing flowers lighting up their path, trees singing old songs, and a waterfall that sparkled like rainbows. It was the most amazing adventure Lucy had ever had. She felt like she was in a fairy tale where everything was magical and full of wonder. But soon, Nico told Lucy something worrying. The forest was in danger. A dark mist was spreading from the middle of the forest, poisoning everything it touched. Flowers were dying, trees stopped singing and the magic was fading. The once beautiful forest was becoming dark and lifeless. Lucy's heart sank as she watched the forest lose its beauty. Nico explained that the mist was created by a sorcerer who had lost his way. He used to be kind, but he turned angry and sad after he lost a special book, a book with all his happiest memories. Without those memories, his heart turned dark and his magic became twisted. The mist was spreading because of his sadness. Nico looked worried as he spoke about the sorcerer's past. Lucy knew she had to help. She couldn't let the beautiful forest be destroyed. Nico led her to the sorcerer's cave. It was dark and cold inside 
and the air felt heavy with sadness. Lucy saw the sorcerer. He was tall, covered in shadows, and his eyes looked tired and full of pain. Lucy felt both scared and sorry for him. Why are you here? the sorcerer asked, his voice echoing in the cave. Lucy stepped forward, trying to stay calm. I'm here to help you, she said. I heard you lost something important, and I want to help you find it. Everyone deserves to be happy. Her words seemed to surprise the sorcerer, and for a moment, his face softened. A book of your happy memories, Lucy said. I want to help you find it. The sorcerer looked surprised. No one had shown him kindness in many years. He had searched for the book for so long that he had lost hope. Losing it had made his heart cold. Lucy saw a flicker of hope in his eyes. Lucy and Nico promised to help. They searched all over, under bushes, in the branches, and even in thorny places. They knew that finding the book was the only way to bring light back to the sorcerer's heart. Lucy felt a strong sense of purpose, and Nico helped by flying to the highest branches to look for clues. They searched all day and all night, even in the scariest parts of the forest. Lucy faced her fears because she knew she had to save the magical forest. Finally, after hours of searching, Nico saw something near an old oak tree. Lucy rushed over and carefully dug with her hands until she uncovered an old, moss-covered book. The book seemed to glow faintly, and Lucy could feel warmth coming from it. She knew how important it was, not just for the sorcerer, but for the entire forest. Nico's eyes were bright with hope as they made their way back to the sorcerer's cave. Lucy hoped that this book could save everything. When they returned, the sorcerer took the book from Lucy. As he opened its pages, the shadows around him began to disappear. His eyes filled with tears as he saw the memories of joy and laughter. The dark mist started to fade, and the cave began to feel warm again. The sorcerer seemed to relax, and Lucy saw the sadness lift from his face. The dark mist that covered the forest began to disappear. Flowers started to bloom again, the trees sang, and the forest's magic returned. Lucy watched in awe as the beauty of the forest came back to life. Birds were singing, and the air smelled fresh and sweet with blooming flowers. The sorcerer, now healed, knelt before Lucy. You didn't just save me, you saved the whole forest, he said gratefully. For your bravery, I want you to have this crystal. He handed her a glowing crystal that shone warmly. It was a symbol of hope courage, and kindness. Lucy held it, feeling warmth fill her heart. The crystal glowed in Lucy's hand. This will remind you of the power of kindness and courage, the sorcerer said. Lucy smiled, feeling proud of what she had done. Nico watched with pride too, knowing that Lucy had saved not only the forest but also the sorcerer. The bond they shared was now strong and unbreakable. Lucy went back to her village with her heart full of joy. The villagers welcomed her as a hero. They weren't afraid of the forest anymore. They visited it to enjoy its beauty, the glowing flowers, the singing trees, and the magical waterfall. The forest, once feared, had become a place of wonder for everyone. The children in the village were very curious. 
they gathered around Lucy and begged her to tell them all about her adventure. Lucy sat under a big tree in the village square and told them about Nico, the singing trees, the dark mist, and the sorcerer. The children listened with wide eyes, imagining the magical world. Even the adults wanted to hear Lucy's story. They stood nearby, listening as Lucy spoke. They realized they had missed out by staying away from the forest for so long. Now, they wanted to explore the forest too. The villagers started planning trips to the forest, not out of fear, but out of curiosity and excitement. Lucy became known as the bravest person in the village. They even created a special day to celebrate her courage. They called it Forest Day. On this day, everyone visited the forest, shared stories, and celebrated nature. It became the most loved tradition in the village, and everyone felt closer to the forest. Lucy wore the crystal the sorcerer had given her around her neck. Whenever she touched it, she felt warmth and remembered her journey. It was a reminder that even in dark times, there is always hope. It also reminded her of Nico, her friend and guide through the magical forest. Nico often visited the village, which made the children very happy. They loved hearing his stories about the forest and its wonders. Nico would take them to see the glowing flowers and hear the singing trees. The children's laughter filled the forest, making it feel even more magical. The sorcerer also changed. He didn't live in darkness anymore. Instead, he became the protector of the forest, making sure it was always safe. He planted new trees, cared for the flowers, and helped the animals. The villagers came to trust him, and he became their friend. Lucy often visited the sorcerer and the forest. She felt like it was a part of her. She would walk through the forest, feeling peaceful. She would sit by the waterfall, listening to the gentle sound of the water and feeling the crystal's soft glow around her neck. One day, Lucy found a new path she had never seen before. Nico flew beside her, excited to explore the new path. They walked deeper into the forest, finding new wonders, trees with golden leaves, flowers that changed color, and animals that danced. It reminded Lucy that the forest would always be full of surprises. Lucy knew her adventure wasn't over. The forest had many more secrets, and she was ready to discover them. She knew that as long as she had courage and kindness, she could face anything. The forest was her true home, a place where she felt alive. The village continued to grow closer to the forest. The villagers planted new flowers and trees. They felt like they were part of the forest, and the forest was a part of them. It was a beautiful harmony that made their village special. Lucy's story spread beyond the village. People from other towns heard about the brave girl who saved the magical forest. They came to see it for themselves, and the village welcomed them warmly. The forest became a place of peace and wonder for everyone who visited. Lucy loved showing visitors around the forest. She showed them the glowing flowers, the singing trees, and the sparkling waterfall. She told them about her adventure and how she had helped the sorcerer find his memories. People were amazed and inspired by her story. The sorcerer often joined Lucy on these tours. He used his magic to show small wonders, 
making flowers bloom, creating rainbows, and making the trees sing. Visitors left the forest with hearts full of joy, thankful for the experience. As the years passed, Lucy grew older, but she still loved the forest. She visited it every day, walking its magical paths and feeling the crystal's warmth. The forest was part of her, and she knew she would always be its guardian. The children who had grown up listening to Lucy's stories now brought their own children to the forest. They shared the tales of bravery, kindness, and magic that Lucy had shared with them. The magic of the forest was passed on, and the new generation loved it as much as Lucy had. Lucy often sat by the waterfall, watching the sunset. She felt at peace, knowing she had made a difference. She had faced her fears, helped others, and brought light back to a place that had once been dark. The forest was thriving and Lucy knew she had found her true purpose. One day, Nico flew to Lucy's side as she sat by the waterfall. He looked at her and said, Thank you, Lucy. You've done so much for this forest. You are not just a friend, you are a hero. Lucy smiled, her heart full of love for her friend and the magical forest. The sorcerer joined them, bringing a new book. It was filled with the village's memories, the forest, and their adventures. He handed it to Lucy and said, This book is for you, Lucy. It tells the story of your bravery and the magic you brought back. Lucy took the book, tears in her eyes. Lucy opened the book and saw beautiful drawings of the forest, the glowing flowers, the singing trees, and the waterfall. There were pictures of Nico, the sorcerer, and the villagers celebrating Forest Day. Lucy knew this book would be cherished for generations. And so, Lucy's story became a legend. The forest continued to thrive full of life and wonder. Lucy, the brave girl who had walked into the unknown, knew that true magic wasn't about spells. True magic was about courage, kindness, and love. And that magic would live on forever. If you enjoyed this story, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more magical adventures. Your support means the world to us and helps us create even more amazing content for you.